my channel. Hi, if you're new, I am Brittany. I create content around beauty, motherhood, and lifestyle. And today I'm going to be testing out some new makeup that I have been sent from Catrice. Is that how you say it? Ta-da! And I'm super excited to be sharing it with you. So if you want to see my thoughts and how I apply it onto my face, keep on watching. Also, don't forget to give me a like on this video. It helps me out so much. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Um, today I'm going to be doing a new makeup video. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show it all. I'm gonna be testing out some new makeup from Catrice. I have foundation, spray, primer, concealer, and eyeshadow. Let's get to looking at all of it first. Oh. See that? Great. This is the Insta Babe palette. And it's gonna be hard to show it now because one of the colors is broke. I keep seeing eyeshadows that are like mixed, like this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like two different colors in it. Like one, it's mainly one color and it's got blotches of another color. And I'm really curious to see how that is going to apply. I guess I can, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these colors. There's a total of 12 colors. We have four mattes, five shimmer. I'd say that these are more like pressed, they look more like pressed glitter to me. I don't know, let's see, let's swatch them swatch them so i'm going to swatch hmm i really want to see this one right here i'm going to do blogger oh well it covered it up okay but it's got glitter in it no mistake in the glitter <laughs> uh <laughs> it's really hard to see the insta this one this first one was actually the Hashtag blogger. You can see the little light swatch pieces in it. I don't know, but you, you can see. It. Yeah, it's broken right here. It's broken right here. Next, we have a concealer. This one says it's a liquid camouflage high coverage concealer that lasts up for 12 hours. Then we have the HD liquid foundation that lasts up to 24 hours. We have a Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer. We have a Illuminate Prime and Fine Dewy Glow and Fixing Spray. So this one can be used for setting makeup as a primer and as a refreshment. It improves makeup wear and leaves a dewy faux finish. Say this one's different than the other ones that I use because this one actually has like, like a rose gold shimmer powder in it. It's got little shimmer flakes in it. See the iridescent shimmer in it. I'm going to be using the primer on one side of my face and then not using the primer on the other side. Today is more about just plain and makeup, not so much of an actual look. Got lashes, so it's we're gonna give this a fair shot. This side is way worse this side so i'm going to be doing the primer on this side of my face and i've got this recently i think i like rubbed my eye too rough or too hard or something and taking off my makeup the other day and i have this like rough patch spot by my eye it kind of burns what are you gonna do? I'm a little worried about using this concealer because this one is a medium. It says medium rose and now that it's not summer, my color is fading and I'm getting kind of pale first. Let it dry since the foundation says that it is a HD liquid foundation. I'm thinking it's supposed to be a high coverage, so we're gonna let this, oh, the shade really, now that I'm, is really not that far off from what I would usually do, concealer-wise, but it's still a little dark. 
for my liking. Normally I use my concealers just to brighten because the foundations that I like to use are always high coverage so I don't have to really worry about needing the extra coverage. Okay, maybe just a dab right here because I'm always tired. Now I'm only going to pat this in a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about fully blending it in just around the edges. Okay, I can already tell you that I'm, I'm really liking this concealer. I'm kind of funny with my concealers, especially under my eyes. Mom. It's like really covering my bags and looking really good. Yeah, baby. Mom. Baby. I'm trying to even see a difference so far. I feel like the primer did a really good job. It did do blur, like some blurring. I can see like more pores on this side. It seems more blurred than this side because like I said, I can see definitely see more pores right over here. Then concealer is covering the acne and dark spot. Now the HD concealer, this one is in the shade Nude Beige. Okay, so this one I can already tell you is looks pretty thick. Oh, maybe because I didn't shake it up because the end of that looked pretty watery. Okay, wait, hold on. First, I'm going to use this. I'm gonna do it all over because I wanna see. Smells really good. Feels, smells very rosy and clean, like a clean, rosy smell. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this and I'm shaking it up kind of thick but not as bad as it was when I first opened it. Well, I dripped it all out. I'm just playing in it now, for real. See how thick that is? Okay, so we are just going to... It's pretty yellow on my skin right now. And it's drying pretty fast. I don't know, it's looking more like my color. On camera, I know this light is like right here, so it's kind of hard to tell, but like in person, it's looking pretty close like to the same color that is back the back of my hand. I'm curious to see how it's going to do on the other side. I still gotta do the top. Okay, it's looking really pretty. Like this finish, it's but it's like more glam and full high coverage. I don't know, it doesn't look that far off. I think it looks really nice. I'm happy with it so far. I'm happy with the color because it's like so I'm just gonna take some of my Lori. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna take some of my Laura Mercier palette. I'm just gonna take some of my Lori. Why can't I talk today? <laughs> Laura Mercier loose powder. I'm going to go back in with my concealer, and we are just Halloween. going to. Mama, Halloween. Halloween. We're just going to apply a little bit of this. And because today I don't oh, see that patch. Mama. Baby. Mama. Wow, it's burning. And it's blotchy. Ow. I can think of a couple different looks that I want to do with this palette, but for today I want to keep it pretty light because I don't have lashes. <laughs> with me so I'm just going to first go in with a face tune. Wow. That one like that first little pat down touch down on my eye lid crease area was a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. And it's blending out pretty nice. I'm gonna go in with that more. And that red, 
Hashtag filters, not a uh, making me happy. All that fallout from a broken color. It's getting everywhere. We're gonna call that good. <laughs> We're gonna call that good as I keep keep blending. I think I really want any shimmer on my lid today. So I'm gonna go in with a repose, a light nude. I'm only taking a little bit on my brush, but I just with like a couple taps into it. And there's not much product on a lot more than what I was expecting. I'm going to take my little pinky finger and I'm going to go in with Insta. I'm just going to put this on my inner corner. Again, hashtag dupe. I'm using this as my liner. Just, I'm not going to go crazy with it. Just going, oh, oh crap. I just... Got it a little bit too far up there, just to make it look a little bit more full. Oh, is that our calling? Okay, so my phone died, my mom called. <laughs> so I went ahead and just went ahead and did this other eye, added some mascara and bronze, and I did my eyebrows, and we're not gonna go into those products because really this video is about this brand, not those other ones. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, I have to say, I really did like the pigments of this. I want to do some more looks, like some actual makeup looks with this palette. I will be doing those shortly. Overall, the color payoff is really nice. Let me just swatch some more of these colors because the swatching didn't go so well a while ago. Look at that. Especially like the metallic colors. They're just, they're really beautiful. They're, they're just really warm and beautiful. My makeup is mostly on except for my lips. This stuff smells really good and it's pretty and I don't know if it like puts any of the iridescent shimmer that is in there on my face, but I don't really see anything noticeably different. Like I'm gonna use a little bit because of that one I swatched, the top one. I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here as my highlight just so we can Oh, that's beautiful. See, the perfect highlight shade. I mean, these shimmer, lighter shimmer shades. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't. I'm so excited. I have a hard time with gold though. Like gold, I just, like an idea of using it. It just doesn't come out on me the way that I want it to. It's just not one of those shades that I personally think look good on me. I'm really happy with this palette. The colors are just, they're perfect for every day for anybody because of the colors. It's nothing crazy. They go well together. You can make looks really easy. This one smells really good. I wish I could tell you how long and do a check-in to see like how long the foundation really lasts just on its own without any powder or anything, but it is later. While I'm filming this, it is actually almost six o'clock, so I'm not really gonna have it on really that long. I guess I could you know, put in the description or maybe possibly do a video later. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see how well it stays on, the long longevity of the wear of it specifically. I'm really happy with how, how full coverage it is. I feel like it did a very good job covering most of my acne. Some of it, I mean, I could have put a little bit more on or actually pulled out some better tricks to actually cover it well, but I think it did really well. I used the primer on this side and not on this side. And look, let's get a close up. This side, the one that doesn't have the primer does show more pores and stuff and more texture than this side, though this side does have more acne on it right now. Anyways, I do feel like this side is more blurred than this side. If I would have taken a blend, beauty blender or a makeup sponge or something, I would have had a little bit different, more outcome. It wouldn't be so, I don't wanna say cake face, but it's definitely more full coverage and you can tell it's not as natural. So I think that would also, sorry, my alarm is going off. That would make it more more natural and soft. I, I'm really happy with all of these products. I mean, they were all sent to me to test out, but I really do, I really do like, like it. I've never used this brand before. Oh, and you know what? This one, the camouflage concealer, I didn't see it before and I wasn't paying attention. It says waterproof and non-transfer. 
so i would have to try that would be perfect thing to try out for like the mask because i kind of would like to try i haven't i haven't been wearing makeup that much these days you know through coronavirus so i haven't really been experimenting with what really works and what doesn't work with transferring you know because sometimes i've noticed like on some of my masks that i my reusable masks i actually need to wash that you know it does the makeup does transfer onto it so maybe that's something i need to be playing with and looking into more but anyways i'm really happy with all of these products and i would highly recommend because i will probably be going and buying well i probably i will it takes me a long time to get through primers but sprays i go through pretty quick and foundations and concealers i go through pretty quick so i'll probably go get some more of these soon but for sure i will be getting more of the eyeshadows because i i'm really impressed with their the formula and you know their pigmentation it, it just it's beautiful like the colors i i really loved go ahead and give me a like if you like this video please it helps me out a bunch as i'm just now getting back into filming more and uploading more and schooling and trying to finish building the house i will see you guys in my next video like i said thanks so much for watching i love you guys have a great rest of your day and god bless ya and i will see you guys next time bye Next we have a high coverage concealer. This one is Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Brittany. Um, today I'm coming to you with a Got Something Makeup from Catrice. Since I've opened the package, this right here seems to have like some kind of shimmer in the setting spray. This is Prime. Prime and Fine. Fixing spray. Oh, so it's not setting spray. It's like a priming. Used for setting makeup as primer and a refreshment. Okay, never mind. It's a quick drain. Okay, let, let's just go over all of this. So we're gonna just go over all of this. Um, here is... Yes, babe.